Temperatures are currently in those lower to middle 70s across the wire grass. We're going to cool down a few more degrees overnight, but overall we're going to stay pretty muggy out there. Now we're not seeing any rainfall for us here. Just some ground clutter that the radar is picking up on. But if we take a look just a little bit off to our east, they're seeing some showers and thunderstorms. I think those are going to die down though before they make their way into the wire grass. It should just be some steady rainfall for our overnight hours. So that's some good news there. If you uh, like a little bit of rain whenever you go to sleep, I definitely am a big fan of that. But once those showers kind of push through again, probably won't even make it to our western counties. Then things are going to clear up and we're going to see temperatures bottom out in those lower 70s. We're going to warm up into those 80s by noon tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies to kickstart our day and we're going to see those sunny skies continue throughout the rest of the afternoon. A few clouds out there. I'm thinking that this model behind me might be a little bit on the drier side. I would say anywhere from about 20 to 30% chance of those afternoon showers again tomorrow. Then we're going to stay clear overnight tomorrow night, bottoming out again in those lower 70s. Going to warm up into those 80s again on Monday afternoon. Taking in on the tropics, we do have a couple of things that we're keeping an eye on currently in the middle of the Atlantic, keeping an eye on this tropical disturbance. Now it has the potential to gain some strength and some um, shape to it, and that's going to really uh, bring it to life as it moves through some more warmer water. So that's definitely something that we're keeping an eye on. Also, always keeping an eye on the Caribbean. Looks like in the next couple of days, we can see something forming again just south in the Caribbean and it's looking like right now the models are pushing it more towards Mexico. So something that we're going to keep an eye on. That's a several days away, probably in the beginning, middle of next week. So lots can change before then. Just wanted to throw that out there though, just so you guys are aware at home. If you head off to the beach tomorrow, beach flags should be yellow in the morning, changing red in the afternoon. Those bays of light chop. 73 is what I have for our average overnight low tonight. Again, partly cloudy skies. Going to start off the day partly cloudy, a little bit of sun out there, and then we're going to see those chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Anywhere from about that 20 to 30 percent chance. And 89 is what I have for our high temperature tomorrow, and that's going to be our coolest day of the week, only by a degree or two. So we're going to warm up into those 90s by the beginning of our work week, and that's going to last throughout. The next seven days, we're going to see temperatures in the lower 90s and then overnight lows in those 70s. And Meredith, we have a three degree, barely. Uh, David forecasted <laughs> 89 yesterday. Actually, I was 86, and that's all due to when those showers uh, came into our area. But nonetheless, Kathy Henderson from Rehoboth, you are a winner. 86 was the high? Yeah. It felt a lot hotter than that. I, I agree. I saw it, and I was like, ooh. Yeah.